Hey, Doc. Doc. Hello, anybody home? Einstein, come here, boy. Just saying to, to see Michael because I saw a screening of that movie and it really is sensational. I'm glad you liked it. I have to say that uh, isn't the real star of the of the film the car? Well, yeah, but you don't have to tell me that. Yeah. 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 No, the the car is incredible. Well, this is a DeLorean car which goes back and forward into the future. Right. And right. takes you back back into the past, and then you're going to try and get back to the future, which is. You time. can never explain this movie. That's, That's a, a good thing I thought about I just you can't, explain, you can't explain it. Seconds. So people really have to go and see it. But yeah, um, yeah it's a, it's a DeLorean that this friend of mine, who's a mad scientist, converts into a time machine, and uh, and I get kind of trapped in it. It takes me back to the fifties, and I um, I run into my parents and uh, screw things up royally, and I uh, have to kind of get it. I have to introduce my parents. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I won't exist. And, and my mother uh, is kind of smitten with me. Which is a sticky situation. That's right. That you, but if the film manages to get over that. Yeah, it really handles it really well. Edible situation. Right, right. Um, it's the kind of all-American teen hero that you play, though, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. Which is good for a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't feel a bit uneasy being a Canadian playing. The... No, it's kind of funny actually, because people say that. Yeah, kind of uh, the all-American kid from Vancouver. Yeah. Which is really Would great. you like? I mean, the, the the thing about the film was you went back in time and subtly changed your own life by being back in the past. Right. Would you, I mean, did it make you think at all? It certainly made me think, watch the movie, how much you'd like to go back in time and see things. Uh, I can, you know, I thought about that because uh, it was something that I thought about when I was doing it. What would I change or what would I alter? I, I don't think I'd, I don't think it changed it. I mean, it worked out all right. I mean, yeah. here I am. Down for you, know, you, yeah. In England. <laughs> how old were you? my tickets. You're supposed to be about 17 or 18 in the movie, right? Right. How old are you in, in real life? Uh, it's, uh, are you? Yeah. No, I'm 24. You don't look it. No, I know. I know. I, I think I made a deal somewhere along the line that I don't want to know. You haven't about. got a painting in an attic anywhere, right? Yeah, I, there may be. There yeah. may be. But uh, yeah, I've just been real lucky. Just How did you manage to stay so fresh doing that movie? Because I know you were also shooting that very successful Family Ties series that you do in the States. It was, uh, it was a strange situation because I, I worked uh, on Family Ties from 10 in the morning until about 6 at night. And then I'd get in the car and go over to Universal and work until about 2, 2.30 in the morning. But um, the, the people, the energy in, involved with the other people in the film was just so great that you were just so inspired when you got there. I mean, Bob Zemeckis, who directed it, is, is, is a total lunatic, but a happily can be productive in society uh, by making films. And, uh, and he, he really had a lot of energy. And, 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 uh, and I guess the, the other Stevie Wonder, not the one who was here tonight, but... Uh, Steven uh, Spielberg um, certainly had, had things going and under control. So it was something that I really believed in. And well, I he's think... making so much, many movies at the moment, Steven Spielberg, but eventually this program will be made up of stars from Steven Spielberg movies coming in every Monday, <laughs> Wednesday, and Friday. You're in, in America now with the success of Back to the Future. You, I suppose, could be regarded as a superstar. And yet here, the movie hasn't opened yet. So, uh... so nobody knows who you are. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you rather be? Well, uh, where would I rather be? Here in the States. Well, th this, this is fun. This is fun. Especially, um, um, I went out for uh, a drink with some friends on Saturday night uh, when I first got in. And I was quite glad by the end of it that no one did know who I was. <laughs> um, but uh, it's kind of nice to, 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 to have a bit of both. Before it, before it hits and it right. hits as it will very well, big. especially because London is such a great walking town, you know, and it's a great place to get out and walk around and, and see everything. So I, it's nice to have seen it like this before. Either they see the movie and, and like me and stop me and talk to me, or see the movie and want to stone me. As a, <laughs> so one way or the other, I've seen London, so. I don't think they're going to want to stone you. Oh, I think no, no. you're going to be very, very big indeed. It's a wonderful well, movie. I, ho I, I hope that, uh, that everyone here likes the movie. It's a lot of fun. Glad you could drop in and see us. Thank you. Michael J. Cox. Thank you.